Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Varun Jaiswal and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, what is the exercise prescription guidelines for type 2 diabetes individuals. Uh, so here is the consensus statement by American College of Sports Medicine published in their official journal that is Medical Science and Sports Exercise and published in the year 2022. So what is the consensus statement? I have written down over here. It is consensus statement represents the collective opinions or the suggestions of a society or an expert panel. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss what are the current recommendations by the American College of Sports Medicine by uh, for the individuals with diabetes mellitus. And for more evidence-based video, kindly follow my channel and let's see what are the recommendations. So before you start any exercise prescription, the individuals have to be screened and these are the criteria prescribed by the ACSM, which individuals have to be screened before participation into a exercise program. So this is a pre-participation exercise stress testing criteria. So any individual with mo age more than 40 years with or without cardiovascular disease risk factors other than diabetes has to be screened. Any individual with more than 30 years with type 1 or type 2 diabetes or diabetes more than 10 years of duration is suffering from hypertension or is addicted to cigarette smoking, diagnosed case of dyslipidemia, proliferative or proliferative retinopathy, nephropathy including microalbinuria or any of these following regardless of the age that is known of suspected cardiovascular coronary artery peripheral artery disease, autonomic neuropathy, advanced nephropathy with renal failure. So any of these conditions has to be screened or any of this individual has to be screened before they participate in a exercise program so these are the um, criteria laid down by the american college of sports medicine who will be screened before participating in the exercise program by an exercise stress test thank you so in this table they have elaborated uh, what components should be there or components of fitness should be there in your exercise prescription that is aerobic exercise resistance training flexibility exercise and balance and the type intensity and frequency duration and progression of each component have been elaborated so while prescribing the aerobic exercise the mode or the type of exercise can be walking jogging cycling swimming etc any any form of aerobic exercise and the intensity should be the moderate intensity that is between rpe 11 to 12 or it could be vigorous so it could be moderate to vigorous exercise that is RP from 11 to 17 or if you want to prescribe the vigorous exercise that is 14 to 17 based on the baseline fitness level of the individual. Now frequency should be 3 to 7 and what you have to remember here is there should not be no more than two consecutive days between the bouts that means there should not be break of more than two days between the two exercises and duration the total duration of one week of the total exercise should be 150 minutes to 300 minutes per week for the moderate intensity and if you have prescribing the vigorous in intensity then it is 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous exercise in a week and rate of progression depends on the ba baseline fitness age weight health status and the comorbidities of the individual same way the resistant training the type of resistant training can be free weights with machines elastic bands body weight resistance uh, body weight resistance etc and 8 to 10 major muscle groups or uh, maybe you can divide into four upper limb and four lower limb exercise involving the major muscles the moderate intensity is 50 to 69 percent of one rm or vigorous intensity 70 to 85 percent of 1 rm and the frequency is 2 to 3 days per week but never on a consecutive day so there should be a break between each uh, one day break between the each sessions and 10 to 15 repetitions per set or 1 to 3 sets uh, progressed gradually flexibility you can use various flexibility uh, methods like stretching pnf stretching to and the intensity should be to point it should be to the point of tightness or slight discomfort two to three days per week and one stretch to last for last for 10 to 30 seconds and uh, progression will be as tolerate tolerated and it may increase gradually okay balance various form of balance exercises like yoga tai chi lower body balance exercises and core resistance exercises can be inculcated no, no intense no set intensity has been prescribed it can be done for two to three days per week no set duration and increment is or progression is as tolerated by an individual so friends these were the evidence-based guidelines or the recommendation 
prescribed by the American College of Sports Medicine in their consensus statement. So for more evidence-based videos, please follow my channel. I am Dr. Varun Jaiswal. See you in the next video soon. Thank you.